Happy Thanksgiving Eve, I'm Nars, and in today's fix, if you thought you were good at video games, you ain't got nothing on this rat that can play Doom in VR. Yeah, you heard that, right? Doom VR. December's Xbox Live Games with Gold has been announced, and we may have a very important update from the upcoming Super Mario movie. Let's go! A neural engineer has been training rats to play Doom 2 with their brains. Over at Medium, neural engineer Victor Toth has chronicled his efforts at training three rodents to move around in a small environment rendered in Doom 2 engine. He crafted a VR setup that's quite different from ones we humans are used to. It consists of a polystyrene sphere where the rats walk on, a harness that keeps them from falling off, and a whole bunch of sensors, gyros, doohickeys, and other technical stuff I won't even pretend to know what they do. The rats were given a very small dose of sugary water fed through a tube as a reward for desired behavior, like having their doom guy walk in a straight line. In one video, a rat named Romero, probably named after Doom game programmer John Romero, takes a few steps on a polystyrene ball, which translates into in-game movement. Now I know what you're thinking, can these rats slay demons in the game? Theoretically, yes but it would take a lot of time and training. Toth's VR setup is actually mostly automated, requiring little manual intervention. Training the rats to shoot enemies in the game would probably require quite a bit of intervention by him to train the rats to perform an action that could be translated in the game into shooting. Okay, so what's the point of all this? For science, of course, duh. Experiments like these allow scientists to understand more of the animal brain and in turn, our own. And Toph's experiment didn't hurt the little furry guys, and they got a snack on sugary water all day. Which is basically, what, Kool-Aid? Yeah, that's about right. Moving on from rats kinda sorta playing Doom, Microsoft has revealed December's Games with Gold selection. And it's a solid collection of slightly older titles. Xbox players are getting The Escapist 2, Tropico 5, Penultimate Edition, Orcs Must Die, and Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet. But don't let the lack of a AAA game turn you off, these are all pretty good. The Escapist 2 is a multiplayer game where a crew of four must break out of some of the world's toughest prisons. Tropico 5 has you build and manage your own island city, and this edition includes the add-ons The Big Cheese and Hostile Takeover. Orcs Must Die is a third-person tower defense strategy game where you have to stop orcs from reaching rifts placed around the level. Insanely Twisted Shadow Planet is a 2D action-adventure game reminiscent of Metroid and Castlevania. You fly around in a ship to defeat, get this, an insanely twisted shadow planet that's taken over your world and destroyed your race. We reviewed this game way back in 2011 and we gave it an 8, so it means it's probably good. Finally, we may have an update on the Super Mario movie that could be divisive among Nintendo fans. You may want to sit down for this, also don't kill the messenger. According to co-producer Chris Melodandri, star Chris Pratt won't be using Mario's Italian accent. Speaking too too fast, Melodandri said, quote, All I can tell you is the voice that he's doing for us in Mario is phenomenal. Yeah, I can't wait for people to hear it. We cover that accent in the movie, so you'll see we definitely nod to that, but that's not the tenor of the performance throughout the film. Melodandri is also aware of some of the backlash surrounding Pratt's casting he said, quote, as an Italian-American myself, I understand. You know, I understand the comments. Charlie Day, who's playing Luigi, actually comes from Italian heritage. Yeah, so that's our nod. Take from that what you will, folks. And that's our show. And that's our week. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving here in the United States tomorrow. So we're taking some time off. But we'll be back on Monday. For all of you out there celebrating tomorrow, please eat lots of food, play lots of games, and maybe take advantage of some of these Black Friday deals. And if you're not getting in on Turkey Day, well, do all those things anyways, because what's stopping you? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Be sure to download the IGN app on all your devices. Follow the Daily Fix on Snapchat. And for all things, everything else, just head on over to IGN.com. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous. There is only one dominant life form in this universe, and it carries a steel-barreled sword of vengeance.